it's a sensational discovery that is sparking a heated debate. Simka Jakubovic says he is, he says he believes he's found two of the nails that were used to crucify Jesus Christ. Some experts dismiss this as a simple fantasy. However, Simka says he has historical and archaeological evidence to back him up. He is making his case in the new documentary, The Nails on the Cross. And right now, Simka is with us live from Tel Aviv to make his case to you. Good to have you back on Canada AM. It's good to be back. Simka, I, I, I want to make, make your case, because a lot of people obviously at first blush are going to be a bit cynical that these are actually the nails that were used to crucify Jesus Christ. But, but, but tell us why you believe that they could be. I mean, I think people should be skeptical. I would be skeptical if I heard this story. And I have to say right off the bat, I don't say the, st the, the, the headline is not nails of the cross found exclamation mark. Yeah. I think the headline is nails of the cross found question mark. I think we've created a good case. And this is the case. I, I, I made this film as part of a series that's going to be broadcast in the fall on history television in Canada. And it's secrets of Christianity, secrets of the ancients. And each episode has to be grounded in some kind of archaeology. So ironically, the first episode, I went to the Caiaphas cave because I thought this would not be controversial. Uh, in 1990, experts agree, not me, they say, that uh, the tomb of the high priest Caiaphas, who sent Jesus to the Romans, who then crucified him, was found. This made international news in 1990, front page everywhere. And his bone box, his uh, limestone coffin, as we speak, is on display at the Israel Museum. They say this is the only instance where someone mentioned in the Gospels that we actually have found his burial cave. So I went to investigate what else did they find in there that didn't make the news, and I can build a show around it. I'm, I'm an investigative filmmaker. And I look inside the files of the Israel Antiquities Authority, and I see that they've documented they found a perfume bottle. They found a, uh, a coin. What they didn't mention to the whole world, that inside the bone box of the man who sent Jesus to the Romans and then to the cross, they found two Roman nails. They found them, not me. And I thought, wait a minute. You, you find the two nails in the bone box of the guy who's known in history for one thing and one thing only, and you don't mention it? Not only that, they weren't photographed, they weren't measured, they weren't documented, and when I asked to see them, they were lost. I spent two and a half years, and I located them in the system at a forensic archaeology lab at Tel Aviv University. The experts say these are consistent with crucifixion nails. They're bent at the bottom, because so you shouldn't be able to pull your hand out. They're too small for the legs, but they're big enough for the hands, and, and the head is exactly the same as the only crucifixion nail that we know for certain from archaeology. The body is triangular, not round, exactly as this other nail. So when you take everything, the, the, the shape, uh, the chemistry, there was limestone adhering to one of the nails and not to the other, consistent with the fact that one was inside the limestone box for 2,000 years among the bones. And when you put it all together, they all seem to point to one conclusion, that these might be the nails involved in the crucifixion of Jesus. Amazing. Okay, well, Simka, uh, we're out of time, but I'll just let people, you know, they, they'll be able to look at your documentary and judge for themselves. It's coming out on History Channel. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.